welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a wig install and today I'm gonna to be installing this popping wig from Ali Pearl but I kind of want to switch things up today um like I've been saying in my previous videos and vlogs and stuff if you've been keeping up is that I kind of want to be more informative more educational try different products try different techniques and kind of just perfect what I'm doing here and teach you guys at the same time. So today I'm going to be using, I'm going to be doing an install using all Erica J products. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, I just want to try them because it's very popular here on YouTube. She's a YouTuber herself. Her products are great. I use them all the time. So I was like, let me just use them in all one video in a one install. So if you want to see the tea on these products and the tea on this hair from Ali Pearl Honey, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channels. Yes, both. I have two. Like this video and keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full install with this wig from Ali Pearl and it is so bomb. I cannot wait to show you guys. And also, um, I'm going to be doing an install using all Erica J products. This is going to be a glueless method. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a full install using glue. I definitely can do that as well. But today I'm going to do a full install using only her products or what I have, which I pretty much have the whole line. So I thought this would be a fun way to incorporate it because a lot of you guys are interested in her products. And I told you guys I was going to be trying a lot more things because I have so much stuff and I always stick to the same stuff. So I'm like, let's switch it up. So. That's what we're doing today. So my hair is already slicked back. I don't have anything in my hair. I just gelled it back, put on my um, wig cap. So first we're gonna start off with the skin guard, okay? This skin guard right here, you guys, I use this in literally every install. If you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know I always, always use this. It's a great product. So I'm gonna be spraying this on a paper towel today because I do not have any cotton rounds. Um, typically, I will use a cotton round, but paper towel you, works just fine. But this basically gets rid of any extra makeup, dirt, hair products, anything you have around your hairline area, which one helps for a longer install. I notice the difference when I use this versus when I don't use this. And also, it just helps keep your hairline area clean and um, reduces like breakouts. Because when I first started wearing wigs, I literally would always break out around where the lace was because the friction, the dirt, the oil, everything. So it just, you know, reduces that. So I would definitely incorporate this into my um, wig install routine. If you haven't already, definitely get this, okay? So that's step one. So I wipe it off and then I just go and spray it around the hairline and just let it air dry. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but I do watch Erica J's videos and she did that as well. So listen, this is her product. She knows what she's talking about. So I'm gonna do it too, okay? So before we move on to the rest of the install and the products, I have this wig from Ali Pearl Hair and it is a brown. You guys know I love the custom colored units or the pre-colored units because they're just so much easier. You don't have to dye, fry, none of that, okay? The hair comes super soft. It comes color to perfection. So I love this. You guys know I've been wearing a lot of, well, I always wear a lot of browns and highlights. I recently actually just did a brown install on my channel, but that one was more of a chocolate color. This one is giving more chestnut, if you guys can see. The other one was like a lot richer. This one is like a, um, a more cool tone or muted color. So this is what we're working with today. So I did um, wash this. I bleached the knots and I plucked it off camera. You guys know how that goes. Let me know also if you guys want to update it um, wig prep video I guess like plucking and all that because I don't think I've done one in a while so just some details on this wig this wig is 24 inches which is like my I would say go to length it's not like obnoxiously long and it's not like too short it is um, 180% density so for me that's like perfect I do like thick thick hair but this is like perfect like everyday hair you can make it sleek you can make it like Va -va -voom. It's like a happy medium and also this does have a 13 by 4 frontal and as you can see the companies are stepping their game up because the frontal is from ear to ear. It's 13 by 4. I, I just hate when they just give you like this big old closure and yeah so it's great. I love that the frontal is basically from ear to ear. It's literally perfect. So I'm going to be going into a new product today. Um, well, for me, this is the Erica J Liquid Melt. If you guys have watched my videos previously, you guys know I use the Bold Hold Liquid Gold, and I'm sure this is like the same concept. I really, really did like the Liquid Bolt, the Liquid Gold, but the Liquid Gold spilled out everywhere, and I haven't bought it since. So I really like this because it's like a glue, 
but it's not permanent. Glue is just too sticky, too messy, too much for me. So I prefer a product like this. It's basically gonna be kind of like how everybody was using the got to be gel, but this is literally made for wigs. So I haven't tried this one, but we gonna stick. So the directions basically say to apply it and let it get tacky and then put the lace on top. Um, and that's it. So it's a, it's a glueless temporary lace hold product and it's best used for styling baby hairs and holding down the lace. For me personally, I would not use this on my baby hairs because if it could hold down your lace, it's literally gonna like plaster down your baby hairs and I don't really like that look. I like a, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I love the um, applicator because it's just so much easier to just go like this. I'm gonna apply this like so. I was trying to smell it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply it like this. And I know a lot of people add like one layer, two layers, three layers. Maybe it's just because like I don't wear my wigs that long. I don't be applying hella layers, but um, I feel like a product, product like this really does not need two and three layers. Maybe two, but like, Honestly, one is more than enough. And I also really love this kind of product because I have a tendency of applying my wig down too low. So if for any reason I apply the, the product too low, I can literally just wipe it away. With glue, when you apply it too low, you're basically like stuck. <laughs> so that's the only thing about glue. I haven't perfected um, the install. Or it just takes too long for me. And you guys know I like to get my hair done and keep it put. I like to do my hair and keep it pushing. And I typically don't apply it any further down than my hairline. Like I have a widow's peak, low key. Like that's where like the last shred of hair um, stops. So I don't go any further than that. So you see like it's going all around and then my hairline comes back down. I don't have hair right here cause it kind of dips back, but I don't go further than my natural hairline if that makes any sense. So even though this is gonna come down a little bit more, my hairline is still aligned throughout. So. I just try to keep it as natural as possible, child, because I don't like when it be touching my eyebrows and we start doing the baby hairs and it's like, mm, mm, mm. So you can kind of like feel if it's tacky and you guys see how like my fingers kind of adhere to it. So now I'm just going to place the lace down to my likings. Okay, and while my lace is laying and molding and setting and doing its thing, I'm basically going to hot comb my frontal area because I like this to be very flat. It gives a very like scalp like effect. So I'm about to do that off camera because I don't want to bore you guys and I'll be right back. Okay, I know I said that I was going to do this part off camera, but I have another product that I can show you guys. So I'm going to be using this um, sleek sheen. It's a heat protectant and a finishing spray, but this is one of the products that I like to use as well sometimes um, when I'm hot combing my frontal area. It, okay, how can I explain this? It's a lightweight formula. It's a little less tacky than like my wax stick. My wax stick is like, oh, and so is my hairspray. This is lighter and gives you that nice sheen. The only thing is that you have to be very careful with this because it is very like oily. So, you know, it gets the wig flat and gives it a nice luster but it can come off too greasy. So you have to be very, very careful. I personally think this would be great on natural hair because our hair just absorbs um, oils and products a lot better. Um, but with weave or wigs extensions, sometimes the product just sits on the hair. So that's the only thing, but I really do like using this. Like, as you can see, if you use a little bit, you see how flat that got and like the shine like it's actually really really bomb so also i do the perimeter of my hair just so that it's extra flat so i'm gonna just do a few little sprays comb that product through you know distribute it evenly and then just hot comb it so now i'm gonna cut this lace and i'm gonna i cannot find my small scissors anywhere and that's what I'm so used to using, but I'm gonna cut it down the middle first and then use the razor. This is why I don't use, like using the razor because I feel like sometimes I cut where I don't want to and the lace is like too uneven. So maybe I should just take my time more. Maybe that's what it is. 
So she also came out with this hold me down spray. And this is basically a spritz for your hair, but it does work on the lace. It works really well. The only complaint is this spray part sucks. Like it gets super stuck. I don't know if it's because it's a thick formula. Maybe it's just not meant for this, but um, it just gets stuck. Like it's spraying now, it's spraying today. But when I first got it, I literally only, only was able to use it like twice and then it didn't work. So that's kind of what sucks, but I'm just gonna go ahead and spray. Okay, so this has been on for a few minutes now, and I'm just gonna take it off because it feels dry. It was super wet, because you guys know it was super like drippy and all, but we might be onto something. It did make my baby hairs hella crunchy though, but ain't nothing a little, you know, this can't fix. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tint my lace, you guys. And I typically don't tint my lace often because I'm lazy. And sometimes you just need a little dust of powder just to keep it pushing. Um, but because she does have the product, I'm gonna use it today. This is the um, Lace Tint or Lace Hue in dark brown. I also do have medium brown, but I have no idea where it is. But typically I use dark brown anyway, or I mix it. So we're just gonna work with this. So as you guys can see, the lace is a little bit light for me. This is a transparent lace, I think. So sometimes on darker skin tones, it comes off white, but all you have to do is tint your lace, whether it be with foundation powder, a lace tint. It's an easy fix. The lace is not bad. It is just too light for me. So you just gotta put in a little bit more work. So I'm just gonna shake it up. You wanna make sure you're shaking it really good. I don't use it often, so I have to really, really make sure that I'm shaking it up. And you just wanna spray like that. And it looks really dark when you first start spraying it, but once it um, sets in, it's like perfect. So I'm just spraying that. And the cool thing about this product too, is it like lays your hair down too. Like it's a really weird, but it really works. So now I'm just gonna tie that down one more time. But I feel like there needs to be a color in between medium and dark because dark sometimes, depending on the lace, it oxidizes too much. And medium, I feel like doesn't do enough. And when I use the both of them, it's perfect. So maybe like a medium deep shade should be added. I don't know. Um, but we're gonna work with this today. And I think I'm gonna do a middle part with loose curls, what's new. Because last time I did um, this hair color, I did a side part. So I just wanna switch it up. And this is how the hair is looking. You guys can see where the hair is hitting on me. Excuse my outfit, but you guys can see, okay? So the tint, the tint, honey, the tint definitely helped a lot. So I'm just gonna make sure my part is centered. So I put the elastic band back on to ensure that my lace is laid and now I'm just gonna start styling it. I'm just gonna um, be quiet and focused. Like I said, I'm doing curls. A part of me wants to do like pink curls, but then I'm like, what's the point, Tasha? What's the point? So I'm gonna frame my face a little bit and then get to curling. So just sit back and enjoy, guys. So now I'm gonna take this Erica J Fluff Stuff Styling Foam. You guys, I use this all the time. As you can see, like, this is like so dirty. Um, I personally do not like this foam for like my hair, like if I have curly hair or anything. Um, I just like it for my edges because it has too much um, texture to it. So like, I like to put products on my hair and not feel a film. This has a film to it, 
but it works really good for baby hair. So like, I don't mind it for baby hair. I love it, love it, love it for my edges because it keeps it down, but like not too hard, not too crunchy, but I do not like it for like, um, oh, but I don't like it for um, like wet styles or molding my hair, like it's just too much, but it does the job for the baby hairs, honey. Oh, this is what it's giving. I need to get my comb. You guys see how like bouncy and fluffy this hair is? Like, oh my gosh. All right, so I'm just like playing with my hair a little bit, making sure it's how I want it. Okay, y'all, so the hair is popping, okay? So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to do my makeup off camera, do a little something, something. I know you guys are probably like, Tasha, why aren't you doing your makeup on camera? Honestly, my skin's going through something and I just don't feel comfortable with that right now because I'm having to like, I just am not comfortable with it. So I'm not doing it. <laughs> I know I'm on here bare face, but like, I just don't feel like displaying my makeup and my skin is like acting crazy. So I'm about to do my makeup and I will be back, okay? All right guys, so this is a completed look. Like I said, I was doing my makeup off camera because I'm going through something right now. So just bear with me, please. But this is the hair, you guys. It is so freaking pretty. Like, oh my gosh, like, it's so gorgeous. The color is pretty. The freaking texture of this hair, the luster is so nice. I have another mirror over there that I'm looking at. But um, my verdict on the Erica J products is they're good, I just don't personally, normally I like to use everything together, but as of now, I just like my system the way that it is, so I like to grab for certain products here and there, like I love the holding spray, but maybe not in conjunction with the um, liquid melt. I love, 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 love. You guys know I love the Skin Guard, that's one of my favorite things, I always use the mousse. Like her products are great, so I would definitely check them out. Let me know below what you guys have tried, what you guys like, what I need to try if I haven't already, but definitely check her out, her products are great. Okay, that's number one. They are great, so you definitely should get your hands on them. And we support black businesses over here, okay? So thanks so much for watching, and make sure you guys check out Ali Pearl Hair as well if you're interested in this wig. Like, look at this color against my skin tone. Like, hello, hello, gorgeous. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!